As an engineer, you might spend a lot of time, sometimes even months at length, building out a particular product or feature, but without really seeing the expected impact out of the particular release. Some of the best engineers that I've worked with have shown really strong signs of product thinking. If you're an engineer who's looking to transition into product, or just someone who's looking to learn more about product thinking, please continue watching. At its core, product thinking will not only help you better understand the customers that purchase and use your products, but also help you show the business value of your own work. Given that you probably already are an engineer, the couple of things that you might already feel pretty comfortable with are things such as systems thinking, scoping, knowing what's possible, and understanding the underlying technology of the product. Your success as an engineer, at least to some degree, is also dependent on the success of the product that you're working on. Instead of waiting for the product manager to come up with a list of specifications or ideas and then jumping right into implementing them, probably a different way of approaching this scenario would be um, to pause and ask yourself, what are the different user problems that we're trying to solve for? What are other ideas and approaches to solve for this? Challenge the different assumptions that are being made. What I'm trying to say is, don't let your tag as an engineer stop you from pursuing your other interests outside of your role. One of the best ways of understanding your customers is by focusing on qualitative data instead of just looking at numbers from your metrics. And the reason behind this being, while metrics show what's happening, they nowhere nearly convey the reason of why something is happening. And uh, product managers and designers uh, conduct user interviews and user research all the time. And by participating in user interviews, uh, it would really help you to understand the cause instead of jumping right into solving for the effect of what's going on. Some of the best ideas end up coming from engineers. And over the years, something that I've definitely observed is while a lot of engineers might have brilliant, really amazing ideas, for whatever reason, they do not feel empowered enough to voice them out. And as a, a new grad engineer, it might be really easy for you to fall into the trap of thinking of yourself just to implement the solutions that the product manager is proposing, where in reality, that really cannot be further from the truth. In fact, a low ego product team is always looking for feedback from their stakeholders, especially their engineers, because no one on the team understands the product in as much depth as the engineers do. Engineers who have a strong product thinking uh, generally are quite interested in what the other disciplines do and how they enable the success of their product. And I often see them maybe grabbing coffee and grabbing lunch together with people from sales, from marketing, or having really good relationships even with their fellow designers. And by doing so, it gives them this really good holistic view of what it takes to ship a product. And finally, uh, product-minded engineers do an excellent job of understanding the product priorities. And by that, what I mean is, there always is a time where we need to make trade-offs as engineers and product managers between two or more solutions. And what you might see a product-minded engineer do is not only propose different options, but also understand what the product trade-offs might be. And instead of waiting for an approval or waiting for an opinion from the product manager, I often see product manager engineers having an opinionated view of what it is that we should be building as a team. All right, friends, those are the five ways by which you as an engineer can start improving and start thinking as a product manager. If you're someone who's trying to transition into product management, do not forget to watch a couple of tips that I've recorded here, or rather here. And if you found these tips helpful, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week.